Welcome to another episode of Watch Once Over. Today we're going to be looking at an Eberhardt and Company chronograph. And this watch is just stunning. Now, a lot of people haven't heard of this company, but this company has been around continuously for the last 130 years without an interruption in production. Um, and that is during the wars and everything. So they are... Um, an original uh, Switzerland brand uh, located in uh, La Chambre de France, France. And this watch is just a piece of history. This is the champion, and this watch is a Cersa uh, 2011, and it is just beautiful. Let's just look at the case. The case has the flowing lines, extremely nice polishing, and the brushing on here is first rate. Look at the lugs. The lugs have this radial brushing that flows around like the lugs uh, connect in a like in a ghostly way. Let's see if I can get up close on those lugs so you can see. See the brushing on there? It has the radial brushing on the lugs. Beautiful, beautiful, polished, fully graduated bezel. For the tacky meter, three sub dials in the panda configuration, which is black and silver, all rhodium plated, applied um, silver indices, rhodium plated hands with loom, and a chronograph second hands that is just a needle style that is is just befitting of a watch this nice. Now, the printing over there at 3 o'clock, you just get the chronograph, Eberhardt and Company champion. Next to that, you get a date wheel surrounded by white printing and a white date wheel with black printing. Inside of the reholt, just in board of that, at the edge of the dial, you get a 60 seconds uh, counters that are um, every, what, five seconds. I mean, every one second is marked off. And then you get two sub dials, one at 12 o'clock and one at 6 o'clock, 12 hour totalizer, 30 minute totalizer, and then you have your running seconds over at 9 o'clock. Now, this watch is also equipped with a screw down crown that is signed with the Eberhardt E. These pump style pushers that are recessed. And this is. Rocking the venerable 7750 Valjo movement. And as you can see, the back, it's plain, it's sealed. It's just the way I like it. No nonsense. All business. Evil Heart and Company. Champion. Serial number. Model number. Five atmospheres of water resistance with a screw down, screw in back. And it's all Swiss made. This watch is just lovely in handling it and and the weight of it is, is is great it's immense i don't know if it's because of that solid case back or just the pure perfection and construction of eberhardt D these watches are put together well now you got a leather strap with the pebble grain and white stitching signed eberhardt buckle and then that buckle slopes down to like a teardrop. And it's just nice. And as you can see, it also has uh, some counter sunk properties in there so the band won't stack up. I'll show you what I mean. See how the band, the band fits inside the buckle. So that's real nice. Now, this watch is of almost perfect proportions. 40 millimeter watch. Mm, 14 millimeters thick with a domed anti-reflective sapphire crystal. And then the lug to lug. Is going to be right around 45. So this watch 
is of perfect proportions, especially for me, because my wrist is 7.25 inches, and I feel that these proportions are just exact for my wrist. And I'll show you what it looks like on my wrist. That's what it looks like on my wrist right there. Extremely comfortable. The ergonomics on this watch are superb. And they should be with a company that's been making and producing watches for 130 years continuously. It should it should be comfortable they, because they obviously... Um, got something right when they made this champion watch but it is beautiful i like it and this is 99 percent chance that this is going to be the next uh watch in my collection this is the eberhardt champion my name is biggie that's the watch once over for today Comment on this one and let me know how you like this oldie but goodie. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. God bless. Have a great day.